West. You look at the Warriors, they love where they stand right now. First place. And of course, there's Minnesota, neck and neck at the top. They're tied in first place. Well, I think for Golden State, their fans were expecting a lot from this team this year, and they haven't disappointed them. It's been a terrific season, and they're far from done yet heading into the playoffs. All right, checking out Golden State's opening lineup. They've got Andrew Wiggins, Green out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then there's Stephen Curry, and it's Pajemski in at the two-guard position. And for Minnesota, Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. Nas Reed out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's McDaniels in at the three. Opening day in the NBA. What a feeling. Richard, what stood out to you about your first NBA game with the Nets? Look, I'm not going to brag and all, but did I come off the bench and get 12 points? Yes. Did we win the game? Yes. So, look, it was a good start for me, a humble beginning. But, yeah, it was that, that's what stood out to me. I got double digits in the one. And here are the Warriors now. Following the score by Minnesota, Green, a screen. Curry passes to Green. Here's Pajemski. No good with the... Triple. Pass to Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards. Wow. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Golden State. Four-point game. Curry looking it over. Pass to Kaminga. Back to Curry. Shot clock at five. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And the shot's good by Wiggins. And Wiggins excels at reading defenses as well as understanding when to just catch and fire. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Now here's Edwards. Not a lot of room. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Yeah, look at the concentration. Through contact, Edwards gets the shot off. Just a tremendous fight. comes to Golden State over the last 10 to 15 years, what stands out to you the most, RJ? Just the fact that you can never count out the Warriors. Every time they've gone through adversity, they seem to come out of it even stronger. Pass to Pajemski. Reed against Kaminga. Here's Pajemski. The three from Curry. And the Warriors with another three. His shooting motion is just so impeccable. Curry's long ball is one of the prettiest shots in the game. Outside Edwards. Here's Gobert. And here's Reed. Coming off a terrific game against Cleveland. The three is up. Sinks it from distance. And how great are they playing? Four for four shooting to start this one. Pass to Green. Now here's Curry. Puts up a deep three. From beyond the arc and then some. Curry's got his second basket on the night. Nobody answers the call better than Stephen Curry. Conley against Curry. From 12 feet. Warriors with the rebound. You knew eventually they were going to miss one. At least you hope. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Well, Draymond has a special talent for setting guys up, especially for his position. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. 
Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. Looking at the young forward, Jonathan Kaminga, a big man who continues to try to get better. Yeah, I really like this guy. Ultimately, he's got to hit his 10,000 hours. He's got to play more games and get more minutes, but he definitely possesses a hunger to improve, and every team loves those types of values. Now here's Gobert. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Edwards for three. The rebound by Wiggins. And so it's Wiggins with it. He brings it up for Golden State. Last time they met in San Francisco. Turnovers were the story of that game. It wasn't what I would call a disciplined performance. The Timberwolves have gone four of six in the first quarter. Now here's Conley. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Here's Edwards. Misses with the fallback. Jay. Wiggins passes to Curry. Back to Wiggins. Pass to Pajemski. Curry against Edwards. Green with a screen on Edwards. Here's Pajemski. Fires the three. And McDaniels with the rebound. Edwards with it. Now Reed. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. It's stolen. So it's the Warriors now. To the paint. Here's Kaminga. An easy two on the layup. Kaminga's got five now. You got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Curry against Conley. Here's Reed. Pass to Edwards. Outside McDaniels to stop the drought. Doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. And here is Kaminga. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. Here's Pajemski. Clock at six. No good on the triple. Now Edwards. He had 16 in the win against Cleveland. And he was also went to town on the glass, imposed his will, chasing down misses all game long. Minnesota has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Outside Conley. Gobert with a screen on Curry. Conley passes to Gobert. And the shot goes in. Outstanding job converting in close. Gobert understands how to execute around the rim. The Warriors have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Wiggins outside. Back to Curry. This one for three. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Timberwolves trail. Edwards finds Conley. Back to Edwards. Oh, it's no good. That would have tied it. The Warriors shooting a 45% clip from the floor. Green with the ball. Picked up by Reed. Curry passes to Kaminga. Over Gobert. Nice shot by Kaminga. Kaminga's got seven points in the game. Good shot selection is often the result of great execution. Now here's Edwards. He's closely guarded. Shoots from 12. And too long on the shot. The Warriors have got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Here's Pajemski. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. And now it's a seven-point Warrior lead. That's a fantastic decision by Curry. Defense too focused in on Steph. Edwards looking for an opening. Down low. Here's Gobert. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Warriors have gotten seven of 13 shots to drop. The three from Curry. Reed with the rebound. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. 
Here's Conley, and he knocks down the 10-footer. Yeah, this is how Conley plays. Extremely efficient. He just takes what the defense allows. Curry passes to Kaminga. Over Reed. Kaminga's shot is off. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. All right, now let's have a look at who was really dominating the boards last season. The fourth spot held by Rudy Gobert. Simply put, he was terrific down low last year, owning the glass. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Alexander Walker's checked in. And Golden State also making a switch. Thompson's checked in. Here's Pajemski. He's coming off a 13-point game against Indiana. And we'd be remiss not to mention his incredible rebounding. Just a force on the backboards. And here's Thompson for three. Sends it home from three-point land. And the Warriors lead by eight. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Stripped away. In transition, here come the Warriors from eight feet away. Nice shot by Kuminga. And now a 10-point Warrior lead. He's been in the zone from the tip. Four of five already. Sheesh. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Reed. The bank shot, no good. And the Warriors shooting 53%, setting the tone right from the opening tip. Here's Pajemski. He's guarded by Conley. Thompson outside. The three. McDaniels with the rebound. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Conley passes to Gobert. Got it. Gobert's got his second bucket of the night. Great recognition of the mismatch. Abusing the smaller defender. Poor guy. Golden State with the ball. They're leading by eight. Kaminga with a screen on Conley. Pass to Thompson. There's the three. Rebound Minnesota. Gobert's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Alexander Walker. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. And he drops the first. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings. Two MVP trophies. Not bad. So one for two that time at the stripe. Even though the Timberwolves made the playoffs in 2023, Grant, they had their share of trials. Yeah, B.A., they had to integrate new players. I mean, Cat missed 51 games due to a calf strain. There was that incident with Gobert and Kyle Anderson. And, of course, Jaden McDaniels fracturing his hand. Well, despite some uneven shooting from him, they're still out in front. Anderson finds Edwards. Here's McLaughlin. It's hauled in by Sharich. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Pass to Curry. Got a piece of it. And that'll be Golden State's ball as it goes out of bounds. Warriors able to keep possession. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Garza. The Warriors also with a sub. Looney's checked in for Sharich. A minute 20 left in the first quarter. Thompson passes to Curry. Looney, a screen on Edwards. To the middle. 
And the basket by Looney. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Outside Warren. Anderson with a screen. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's tough not to like a hardworking player like T.J. Warren. I mean, he gives his team a lot of effort and is a reliable points producer for them. And that one falls for Warren. And the Warriors making a switch here. Sharich checked in. And so Warren nails them both. There's 53 seconds left in the first quarter here. Paul looking it over. And here's Thompson for three. Hits a three-pointer. Thompson's got six points. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. Here's McLaughlin. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Cleveland. Pulls it. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Paul passes to Curry. Now Sharich. Pass to Thompson. Outside Curry. Just five on the clock. Jacks up a three. Another three for Golden State. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. The first quarter concludes. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Warriors ahead, up by 10. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Golden State Warriors. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. We've got Edwards. Also Jordan McLaughlin out there. Nikhil Alexander-Walker out there with Kyle Anderson. And it's Minot in at the four. So that's the Timberwolves five. Pass to Edwards. Here's Alexander-Walker. Puts up a three. No good. On the wing, Thompson. 17 points for him, last game against Indiana. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. Pass to Alexander Walker. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Golden State. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Richard, looking at Chris Paul's career up until this point, he's someone that makes every team he's on better. Yeah, it's because he's just such a great leader, someone that commands excellent, not just from himself, but his teammates and his entire organization. Edwards against Curry. And they double up Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Alexander Walker's got seven. Yeah, just continuing to unlock his game. If Edwards adds the playmaking component, 
<laughs> Watch out. Pass to Jackson Davis to the inside. And here's Curry for three. Can't hit there. Now three for nine. Minnesota's gone one for three from downtown here in the second. McLaughlin pass to Anderson. Here's Alexander Walker outside Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Can you say terrific athlete? Edwards just enjoys getting deep positioning and rising up for the slam. Fires from 14. And that one's good. Paul. And the Warriors lead by seven. That's more than enough space for him to get that shot up. Inside. And he jams it home with authority. He put a little flair on that one. Yes, he did. Man, he's a strong finisher, huh? Edwards against Curry. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Outside Edwards. And Minnesota again with a bucket. And this is how confident Edwards is. Feels like he can sink these shots whenever he wants. And a deep three from Curry. It's good. Curry with a long-range bomb. Another triple for him. His fourth of the night after that monster timeout, first timeout. quarter where he hit three of them. And the Timberwolves call time here. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Some changes for Minnesota. McDaniels comes in for Minot. And Conley subbed in for McLaughlin. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside Edwards. The kick out to Conley. Shot clock at six. Anderson with a screen on Curry. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Buries it from three. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Curry with it. He's coming off a 25-point game against Indiana. He didn't make it all about himself. His passing was sharp, and he kept everyone involved. Outside Edwards. And we heard some coaches saying the league punishes retaliation, and that might even encourage players to instigate. Grant, you think he's got a point? You know, B.A., I think he does. I mean, if guys are creating a dust-up to try to get opposing star players thrown out, the officials cannot reward that. Wiggins outside. There's a screen. They double him with McDaniels. Out to the right wing. Here's Pajemski. He hits that one. Two for five now. I like the intention. 
the focus, finding a way to make it work inside. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Thompson. Anderson with a screen on Thompson. Pass to McDaniels, takes the three. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Oh, nice step back to create some space. And it's an eight-point Warrior lead. Nice start for him beyond the arc. He's already hit three triples, and I'm pretty sure there's more to come. Anderson with a screen on Thompson. Here's Alexander Walker. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Gobert's checked in for the Timberwolves. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. So it's the Warriors now. It's a five-point game. Curry against Conley. Now here's Curry. Tight defense on him. Pass to Pajemski. Five on the clock. Over Gobert. And the Warriors tack on two more. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. And Minnesota calls time here. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. And let's take this time to bring up the list of last season's elite shot-blocking teams. The fourth spot held by the Timberwolves. Now, we all know they didn't allow any easy buckets last season. I mean, their defense was tremendous, and the rim protection was just outstanding. And so it's Minnesota with it. They trail by seven. Good. Edwards has got 15. He's just got it on automatic right now, shooting 100%. And that'll keep your confidence high. Curry passes to Thompson. Three-pointer, no good. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Down low. Here's Anderson. Hauled in by Curry. You love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that time. Green with a screen on Edwards. Off target with the three. The Timberwolves have gotten eight of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. Now here's Conley. The D's right on him. Here's Anderson. Green with the defensive effort. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. McDaniels against Curry. Green with a screen on McDaniels. Six to shoot. Curry, no good. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. To the middle. Gobert inside. Working on green. Strong finish by Rudy Gobert. Nice balance from Gobert. Not allowing the defense to overwhelm him. Curry against Conley. 
Curry passes to Thompson. Wiggins with it. Here's Pajemski. And Gobert with a block. Yeah, the long arms. It's difficult to protect your shot from Gobert's reach. And Conley gets it to go. The assist from Edwards. And it's now just a one-point Warrior lead. The Warriors shooting about 47%. A nice number. And the Warriors call time here. But Grant, some think of Gobert as just a defensive specialist. But he's proven to be more than that. Yeah, B.A., I like how Rudy uses his height to his advantage inside. Focuses on taking high-percentage shots that come to him naturally. Some changes for Minnesota. Reed's checked in for Anderson. And it's Alexander Walker in for Edwards. And Golden State also making a switch. Kuminga's checked in. Pass to Pajemski. And here is Green. 11 points for him last game against Indiana. Not to mention the rim protection he provided. Credited with two blocks. And you know that he altered a few more. Here's Alexander Walker. Defended by Thompson. Here's Conley. And another basket for Minnesota. Why fade away there? Just making the shot more difficult, if you have to ask me. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Draymond Green is one of the most versatile defenders in league history. He said, quote, I'm comfortable guarding anybody. But he also said, I love playing against those big guys. They're thinking they've got a mismatch, but I'm built for this. It won't be as easy as you think it's going to be, Brian. Ali, he always takes that challenge, doesn't he? Thank you. you got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Picked by Gobert. Conley passes to Gobert. Shoots over Wiggins. And another basket for Minnesota. Wow. Gobert must have really been feeling it to take such a quick shot. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Play drives. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got rebound number seven tonight. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. Pass to Conley. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Alexander Walker. Defended by Thompson. The shot by Alexander Walker. No good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Green finds Wiggins. And here is Kaminga. Reed defending. Pass to Pajemski. Launches it. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Reed with it. He's watched by Kaminga. Out of bounds. It'll be Warriors ball. Edwards, he's checked in for Alexander Walker. The Warriors also with a sub. Curry, he's checked in for Thompson. A minute 15 left to play in the first half. Pass to Kaminga. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. You know the coaches hated that shot, but guess what? Some of them go in. Here's Edwards. Oh, that's his eighth make of the game. He's only missed four so far. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. It's Wiggins on the wing. McDaniels covering. With the step back. Pass to Pajemski. Green against Gobert. The three from Curry. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got four assists now tonight. 
He's been dropping them in from downtown since the tip. Three triples in the first quarter, two more since. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And certain nights, Edwards just goes off. Very tough to stop when he's in the zone. Curry against Conley. Outside Curry. Beyond the arc. It's not going to go for him. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Warriors on top. They're up by one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Thanks for tuning in. The story tonight with the Minnesota Timberwolves, they were in a close game. You know, I love what they're doing, working overtime to get the high percentage looks. The way it keeps working for them, just keep at it. Uh, some soft interior defense as well, Shaq. And switching things up just a bit, let's look ahead at the upcoming schedule. Well, I think for the Warriors, at this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. And you know, Anthony Edwards has been really making it happen, guys. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. And so in the game for the Warriors, they've got Jonathan Kaminga. He's out there with Andrew Wiggins. Green out there with Stephen Curry. And it's Pajemski in at the two guard. It's Wiggins on the wing. McDaniels covering. Wiggins no good. Surprising he didn't bury that, but hey, it happens sometimes. Outside Edwards for the lead. And another basket for Minnesota. Now Edwards has a way of making the D look helpless. Just looking past the good coverage and still converting. Green with a screen on Conley. The three from Curry on target from range. Curry's got 18 points in the game. Lackluster defense showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Pass to Reed. Now here's Edwards. From down in the low post, it goes. Edwards has got four points now in the quarter. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. Outside Curry, a deep three. And the Warriors with another three. That's not even a deep three for Curry. That's just pretty much his range at this point in his career. Here's Edwards. Lays it up and banks it in. Edwards got 25 points. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. Green, a screen. Launches it from deep. That won't go either for Curry. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Outside Edwards. Soft touch off the glass. 
He's got 27. Outstanding work in close. Edwards is just so confident from this area. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Green with a screen on McDaniels. Wiggins for three. Oh, Wiggins! Bullseye with the three! A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Outside Edwards. Pajemski grabs the board. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Curry passes to Green. Here's Pajemski. Three-pointer off the mark. And he keeps trying to get himself out of this rut. But maybe it's not meant to be. I focus on sharing it with his teammates at this point. Here's Edwards. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And we've seen Edwards grow a lot in the past few years. He has a great understanding of how to put defenders in tough spots. Throw good, Edwards. And looking at Edwards, the offensive skills he has are impressive. Now he must focus on improving his defense. He's off on the second. The Warriors have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. The shot by Pajemski, no good. Another miss from him, struggling to find his rhythm. And Edwards slams it in. Yeah, we've seen Conley do this forever, running the point with precision. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Wiggins with a screen on Conley. Curry passes to Wiggins. The kick out, Curry. They double team Curry to the inside. And stolen by Edwards. Here we go, one on one. McDaniels can't hit. Pass to Pajemski. McDaniels against Kaminga. Here's Wiggins. Oh, Wiggins punishing him inside. He bullies his way around Wiggins. He's going to figure it out inside. Well, Richard, as the first overall pick, some of the highest expectations were put on Wiggins at a very young age. Yeah, while playing high school ball, some recruiter analysis called him the Michael Jordan of Canada. That's some big shoes to fill. If it's not the highest expectation ever, I don't know what is. Edwards can't hit. The Warriors have gone four of eight in the third. Pass to Curry. Green with a screen on Conley. The three from Curry. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Now here's Reed. Defense right on him. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Kaminga's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Pajemski, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. Now here's Edwards. 30 points in the game. To the paint. Pass to Reed. The three ball. Drills it from deep. Reed's got six. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Take that, he says. I see your three, and I'll raise you another three. Here's Curry. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Mike Conley. Think about the impact that Steph has had on this game. Him and his team have changed the way the game is played. They have ushered in the three-point era.
the first free throw is good. You know, when you look back on Stephen Curry's career, it's still amazing that he fell to the seventh pick of the draft. You think a few teams regret that one, B.A.? <laughs> look, as great as a shooter as he is, teams were scared off by his build because he didn't have that typical NBA strong body. And so Curry nails both of them. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Minnesota's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Conley against Curry. Outside McDaniels. Outside Edwards. Five to shoot. Releases. Solid as a rock from 20 feet out. Edwards got 13 in the second half. And so it's Wiggins with it. He brings it up for Golden State. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Green with a screen on McDaniels. Here's Wiggins. He can't hit that time. McDaniels with some nice D. For Minnesota, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Now here's Edwards. He's guarded closely. Pass to Reed. Just five to shoot for the lead. Rebounded by Green. Green's got rebound number seven tonight. Back to Curry. Curry draws the double. Now Kaminga. He's got 11. Oh, Kuminga! Strong leg bull. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Here's Edwards. 32 points in the game for him. Outside McDaniels. Up top, Edwards. Hits the target from 18 feet. Edwards got 34. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Pass to Kaminga. Now Green. Hook loose. The kick out, Curry. And the Warriors with another three. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Edwards is doubled. Back to Daniels. Outside Conley. It's Edwards on the wing. 20 feet out. Warriors with the rebound. Right side, Kaminga to the middle. Green with a screen on Edwards. Kaminga goes in. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Kaminga. All right, let's take a quick pause and look at the best shooting teams from last season. In the third spot, the Timberwolves. They were so consistent with their shooting. Maybe not lights out, but they played smart and didn't let good looks go to waste. Anderson's checked in for Minnesota. Alexander Walker comes in for Anthony Edwards. The Timberwolves have gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. And Minnesota calls time here. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. 
That's his first foul. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr has somewhat of a hands-off approach. He said, quote, coaching isn't controlling. My goal by the end of the year is to just sit there and do nothing. And that means it works because that's what a coach's job is. It's not to pull strings, call every play and direct traffic. It's to say, this is your team. B.A.? Yeah, that's how you have to think about it, right? Thanks, Allie. Clock at six. Reed with it. Six points for him. That three's off the mark. And here is Kaminga. It's Wiggins on the wing. McDaniels covering. Here's Pajemski. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. And now it's a seven-point Warrior lead. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Conley looking for an opening. There's the drive. That one goes in. Conley's got eight points. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. And it's Thompson penetrating. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And after all the injuries, Clay still's got a quick step. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. Also, they were ultra-consistent from outside, hitting a high percentage of those shots tonight. And he makes a first. After a run of bad luck with injuries, it's great to see Thompson back on the court contributing because this man, he is the definition of a warrior. McLaughlin, he's checked in for Minnesota. Morris comes in for Mike Conley. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Timberwolves trail. Fires for three. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. Pass to Paul. We've got a minute 48 left in the third quarter. Here's Kuminga. Oh, Kuminga, just a menace inside. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Anderson with a screen on Paul. And it's Morris penetrating. Pass to Alexander Walker. Inside. Here's Reed. It's rebounded by Golden State. Jackson Davis has got four rebounds now. Down low. A minute six left in the third quarter. Outside Peyton. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Garza's checked in for the Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards comes in for Morris. The Warriors also with a sub. Curry's checked in. Pass to Edwards. Knocked loose. Oh, stolen by Peyton. Wing shot on the way. Anderson pulls it down. Minnesota's going just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Thompson. Pass to McLaughlin from the arc. He buries it from three. There's 14 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Get there, get there. Outside Curry. The three is up. That shot missing. 
Stephen Curry getting it done for the Warriors. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. He'll be proud of that one. Bigs love when their passing skills are noticed. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Minnesota shooting is around 55% so far. Nikhil Alexander-Walker out there with Kyle Anderson. Then there's Edwards. Then it's Jordan McLaughlin. And it's Garza in at the center position. So that's the Timberwolves five. McLaughlin's shot is good. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. And it's Paul with the ball for the Warriors. Outside Peyton for three. Pulls it in. Edwards got his fourth rebound in this one. Edwards is doubled. Pass to McLaughlin. Down to five on the shot clock. To tie it up. It's rebounded by Golden State. He's going for the oop here. Here's Alexander Walker. The ball's knocked loose. Oh, stolen by Peyton. Edwards against Curry. From deep. The shot off that time. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Alexander Walker, the pass to McLaughlin. The kick out to Edwards. Shoots over Curry. Shot is good by Edwards. Edwards has got 17 points here in the second half. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Peyton against Anderson. Just five to shoot. And the Warriors miss again. Hey, look, I'm not going to lie here. That's a shot that he needs to be making. There are no excuses. Alexander Walker, the pass to McLaughlin. Now Edwards. He's guarded by Paul. Edwards can't hit. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Peyton. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his sixth assist of the night. One of the most unselfish superstars out there. Curry is always looking to make his teammates better. They set the screen. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by Thompson. Edwards is doubled. Pass to Garza. To take the lead. On the wing, Alexander Walker. Good. Had a chance to take the lead. The Warriors have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Thompson scanning the floor. And here's Paul from deep three-point range. An absolute bomb from three-point range. And now it's a five-point Warrior lead. 
just simply automatic. Once that ball is in Paul's hands, he is ready to fire off a shot. The shot is good by Edwards. Edwards got 38 points. For his sake, I hope they can come back. You hate to see the performance he's having be wasted in a loss. To the inside. Outside Peyton. Fires the three. And the Warriors with another three. Oh, I'll tell you what. In this fourth quarter, he's been locked in and has made some big shots for his team. Here's Alexander Walker. Defended by Thompson. Pass to Anderson. And here's Edwards outside. Rebounded by Chris Paul. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Outside Curry. Let's go with a three. Anderson pulls it down. Anderson's got rebound number eight now. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. Here's McLaughlin. He's guarded by Paul. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert is checked in for Garza. Reed comes in for Anderson. And McDaniels is subbed in for Alexander Walker. The Warriors have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Wiggins against Gobert. Outside Curry. Here's Pajemski. Conley's checked in for the Timberwolves. Conley against Curry. Back to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Pass to Kaminga. Six to shoot. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. And the Warriors lead by six. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Edwards, the pass to Conley. Back to Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Green with a screen on Conley. Pass to Green. And Gobert with a block. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gobert. Curry draws the double. And here's Kaminga for three. And they get it back. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. And it's Edwards with the ball for Minnesota. Six-point game. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Hey, he's doing everything he can to keep them afloat. Now here's Curry. Wow, Curry takes the hit and finishes inside. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Left side, Edwards. Outside, McDaniels. Pass to Edwards. Five to shoot. The kick out to Conley. Here's the three. Gobert passes to Edwards. Gobert. Oh, a nasty putback. What timing from Gobert. Yeah, just what they needed from Gobert. Grabbing the rebound with those long arms and sending it back. And a deep three from Curry. Rebound Minnesota. Reed's got four rebounds in the game. Edwards against Green. Pass to Gobert. 
Here's Reed. Outside McDaniels. Takes a three. Up again. It's good on the putback. And now just a two-point Warrior lead. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Curry against Conley. Pass to Wiggins. To the paint. Here's Green. Oh, Green just outworking the competition. Just won't be denied. Draymond's inside game a strength. Outside McDaniels. Here's Reed. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Wiggins with it. Outside Kaminga. Back to Wiggins. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That'll be a second foul of the game. Now Kaminga. Pass to Pajimski. Just five on the clock. 4-3. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got his 16th rebound on the night. Edwards, the pass to McDaniels. And he drops in the layup off the glass. The ever-expanding skill set of Edwards. Nice dish right there. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. Timeout called. The Warriors. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? All right, Allie, thanks once again. Wiggins passes to Curry. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It goes on Mike Conley. If the ball handling isn't enough to mesmerize you, what about the little up fake by Curry? Free throw is good. And so Curry nails both of them. 
Minnesota has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Conley passes to Edwards. Edwards is doubled. Now here's Reed. Let's it go from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. He knocked one deep ball in the first half, but you start to get the feeling he's finding his rhythm out there now. Conley against Curry. Wiggins outside. Outside Kaminga. And Jade McDaniels picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Jemski. It counts! And the foul! It's on Anthony Edwards. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play. And it's Edwards with a ball for the Timberwolves. Trailing by four. Going inside. Pajemski grabs the board. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. Curry draws the double. And here's Kaminga for three. Rebound Minnesota. Gobert's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Edwards against Wiggins. Now here's Edwards. He's covered closely. Pass to Reed. Outside McDaniels. Conley finds Gobert. Shot clock at six. And here's Edwards. Launches a three. And another three for Minnesota. Oh, in pressure moments, he's a guy you trust to make big shots. Conley against Curry. Green with a screen on Conley. The three from Curry. Edwards pulls it in. Edwards got five rebounds in the game. There's a minute 12 left to play in the fourth. McDaniels against Wiggins. And they double up Edwards. Here's Gobert. With the clock winding down. Count it! And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They're down by one. 50 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter.
Here's Curry. Curry draws the double. Fires from deep. McDaniels with the rebound. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Reed a screen on Wiggins. Conley finds McDaniels. Back to Conley. Five on the clock. Reed passes to Gobert. And it's good. And the trust this team has in Gobert. They know he looks to come up huge in the clutch. Timeout called. The Warriors. They're losing by three. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they get into the penalty. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. So it's Minnesota now. Three-point lead. And they go to the intentional foul. Good on the first. And that gives him a four-point cushion. Well, Conley could put this team in a good position here. He's just got to relax and trust his mechanics. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a five-point game. Cool, calm, and collected. Say that three times fast. He makes them all and puts this game away. Nice shot by Kuminga. Nice timing on the pass from Green. Finding the open guy with ease. And Minnesota calls time here. They're in front by two. One second left in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. So the first one drops. And that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws good. And it's a four-point ball game. And so it's Minnesota who scrapes by with a win. This one was in the balance right until the final seconds. NBA, they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Anthony Edwards.